Hey, welcome to the channel, Nick Welker here. You remember those grain bags from last year? We're gonna move them, it should be fun. Lots of stuff happening, trucks, tractors, all kinds of good stuff. But first, this video is sponsored by Simply Safe, so we'll talk about that in a minute. Now that Leg Arms has got the 4520 running like a top, don't need battery chargers anymore. That's nice. It's time. It's time to move those grain bags. You ready? Let's see if this works. A little muddy, but we're gonna figure it out. Dad's pulling Duramax over. It's got a Lofness extractor on it. A neighbor of ours rented it out to us. So that was nice of him. So we're gonna put it to use and uh, see if we can uh, move some grain. Once those grain bags are moved, that's a chunk of the wheat left on the farm. I think we're good to go. As far as the unit, I think I got it set where I want it set. So now the next step is we gotta prepare the bag. And so I've got to unscrew the two by fours that sandwich the end of the bag closed, kind of like a Ziploc bag on the two by fours and decking screws. And then once that's apart, I gotta climb up here on the slope of the pile somewhere, cut a horizontal slit where I think the knife will go then cut a slit all the way to open the bag up. Then I need a couple more guys, which aren't here right now. We're gonna back the unit up over the pile, or the, the bag, hook the bag to this tooth roller here that's gonna actually grab the bag and start rolling around it. And then eventually as we get in there far enough and start extracting the grain out, extracting, extracting, this knife will then start slicing down the bag, down the center of the bag, if all goes to plan. And then you don't even use the tractor to power it, you just basically let the, well, the grain bag extractor, pull itself through the bag all the way down. Here's the issue we're gonna run into. It's still muddy here. Uh, some areas are dry, like I'm standing right now, dry enough for a light machine to drive on. And then other areas down there are sloppy and muddy. I don't know, this is my first time doing this, so I have no idea what it's like underneath the bag. It's probably, is it frozen? I don't know, it could be frozen. A lot of the ground is frozen still, so if it's frozen, that'd be okay, as long as the bag lifts off the ground. If it's a sloppy, muddy mess, that's not good. I don't know how long that'll last. And then two, the truck's got to drive along this side to be unloaded. And looking at that spout, I mean, yeah, you can see what I'm getting at here. I am not sure the truck's going to be able to get in and out of here. One of their axle wheel, or the one side of the duels will be on drier ground, the other side will be in mud. So it could be a mess. We might have to put a hold of this for a day or two. The only downside is tonight they're talking a couple inches of snow. So let's just uh, hope that doesn't happen. Saw that somewhere as a form of enter entertainment. It's kind of fun. I think I'm supposed to have a stick though to run with it. Yeah, I'll take that one. first time uh, things were going smoothly and then the track started bogging down and before we give it any gas killed it so now we broke one shear bolt trying to get the PTO to engage 
So we're gonna let the tension off the bag, see if I can drive it forward a little bit, get it so that it'll clean itself out, and then we can start going again. So basically it just overfed it. There was just too much grain coming in. So we'll see if we can get it to break itself loose and uh, keep going. Okay, let's try not to break a shear bolt. You can drive forward a little bit. I think that dial needs turned down. Yeah, it was going too fast. This is way too fast. So two full turns. We'll see what that does. Well, that's what was going on. We just had it running too fast. There's a speed adjustment on how fast it pulls the extractor through the pile, and it was turning up too much. And the truck's almost full. In fact, it's, it's really full. We're gonna have to get better at filling trucks with these. There it is. All right, time for another truck. International. We can't slow it down anymore. I think the tractor's hydraulics have turned too high or the flow is too fast, but the dial to adjust it is stuck on the tractor. So we gotta switch it to a different remote. But for now, he's just gonna man it and he'll just watch it and move it along. But it's pretty slick. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty slick. All right, we're loaded. I guess it's time. Hit the road. I've been uh, swinging into the pile when I first get with the truck and then back up, and that way I'm not digging a trench the whole way down the pile every time so that way hopefully the next truck has a new path to go in. I'm gonna try something a little different because it's downhill I'm gonna point downhill with the truck and use the weight to my advantage. Uh, we'll see if that was a good idea or a bad idea. The only downside is you gotta run around the truck to get and uh, move it, but it's okay. Let's move it into place. Dummy. That was what I wanted to do. Truck kept sliding forward. I couldn't stop it. And I tried to reverse and well, let's see if I can drive this forward and back it up again, get it back underneath it. Otherwise, we'll have to do a big loop all the way around drive over that again fortunately it's only about five or ten bush on the ground there but still oh well come on come on cranked all the way it's pulling me towards the pile oh come on girl go go oh we're just moving inches there we go there she goes that's better what a mess I might have to pick this up in the morning when it dries out. Or it dries out. When it freezes tonight, I got something I have to do. Well, I'm just going to leave that truck right there. And then uh, in the morning, we'll come in here, like I said, when it's frozen. I'm going to bring the skid steer in too while everything's warming up and clean that pile up, put it back in there. So I'll shut this thing down. The elevator closes in a couple minutes anyway, so it's not like we could really haul much more tonight. I'm a little nervous though about doing this pile or this uh, bag because there's no dry ground here. Well, we're getting loaded. Got a couple trucks in today already. Uh, what is it? 10 o'clock and it's starting to get greasy again. So it's just a matter of time before we gotta shut down again. We're about halfway through the second bag. So we might get most of it on the truck before we have to quit for the day, but we're not gonna get this finished today, that's for sure. Maybe tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll find out. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get it another time. It's slippery. Still frozen underneath, but that won't be for long. 
now with the way the sun's shining. Pretty amazing, really. How oh, I can do that. Well, it's, uh, it, it's, it's clean. It's uh, pretty efficient, really. It really is. Pull up for a quick pit stop. Grab a bite to eat, fill the tank up with diesel. And we're still getting grain out of those bags. Surprisingly, it's muddy, but it's like the mud is different. I don't know, it's working though, so we're just gonna keep going. Okay, all grubbed up. Let's see if we can get to another bag. I think there's a chance that we can keep hauling. But we gotta move the bagger to the next, the bag extractor to the next bag. So, Let's see if we can do it. Okay, now to prep it. We've got quite a bit extra bag here. We didn't with very, this is the very first bag we did. We didn't really know how much to leave. They said leave some excess. They left a lot of excess. Could have probably could have another thousand bushels in that thing, but it's all good. Let's get her set up. Wind picked up out of nowhere. There's kind of some little systems moving over the top of us and that must be what's going on. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's uh, making things challenging. There's uh, the old bag. It's flowing all over the place. It kind of wants to take off. And the new bag is struggling to get hooked on to the extractor. But I think between the two of us, we got her together. We got tension on it. That's just insurance. Now I'm gonna go get a truck and put it underneath. The leg arm is gonna look really pretty holding us together. Hi. So I'm driving on the dry ground, this is where the bag was, and then at the last second I'm gonna jot over and get in the sloppy muddy mess. We'll see if I can get in and out of there. Ah, that's not bad. Well, to my surprise, we loaded a truck, and like I'm just gonna load his. So I'm gonna run this to town. That's uh good deal. We won't get some grain all today. That's exactly what I was hoping we'd get done. Well, while I'm sitting here waiting for that thing, I heard a little thing in here. I got gloves. Oh, and here comes leg arms. Perfect. He can be my cameraman. That's <laughs> a big one. Whew. Told you I'd get him. Oh yeah, he's biting me. Those are refrigerator gloves, buddy. You can't bite through those. Hi, Steve. Ridiculous. You would like to go in someone's car randomly. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, I got stuck last time. Let's see if I can get out of here without getting stuck again. You know what? Elevator's about to close anyway. It's almost five, so I'll leave it there for the morning. That's okay. Dad's truck's full though, and he hasn't taken it yet because he's been gone to a meeting, so I could take his. 
Okay, I'll go do that. Uh, I just made it. They literally had the probe pointed at the ground and the doors were about to shut. I texted the guy and I said, hey, I'm there in five. And he said, okay, sort of. Well, that's it for the day. We're not getting that a truck unstuck, it's stuck. So let's deal when it freezes again tomorrow. All right, bring it in the big dog, 844. And the Yanko rope. I'm not gonna yank it though, we're just gonna pull slow because it's not that stuck, it's just in the little holes in the ground it just needs to roll out of. So this will work. And I'm free. Oh, that took a little bit. Everything's cold, everything fights you, but we got it out. It was, uh, that's, uh, that's why we were a little hesitant to haul grain when it was muddy, but, well, got stuck in ruts that froze overnight, and getting out of them, not easy. But you know what? I'm driving the truck, so we're good. All right. I think this will hopefully fit in that. It'll be tight. We might have a little bit left over, but I'm gonna try. We'll see if we can get it. Start loading. <laughs> it was tight, but I got it on there. And I don't think I'm gonna get stuck. The back is dragging, but I've got some flat spot up there to pull out of. We'll see. No one's here, just me. So I'm gonna give her all and see if I can get this in and get it done. And then I'm out of here for a while. Going on a little trip, a couple days, and I'll be back. All right, let's roll. All right, that's it, done. That one's a nice full load, and contract is settled, to my knowledge. So, let's go park this truck, and I am done. Good push, bags are gone. That was an interesting experiment. I like bags, and I don't like bags. There's definitely pros and cons to them. I think in certain circumstances, they would really be nice for the farmer. Like, if you've got a lot of lease ground that's far away, and you don't have any way to put bins up on it, that's great for bags. Or if you have a bumper crop, and you gotta do something with it, that's great for bags. But if you have storage other than bags on the farm that can hold everything then obviously I do it. But they're they're definitely cool. Like cleaning up those bags wasn't that hard. It was pretty simple. Mm -hmm. 